It is your boy Octacool, or you may call me Claude Wiener Whistle. And with him today is Cletus Wiener Whistle. Dude, a guy commented this like a minute ago. His name is SH, and you know, out of respect for him being so quick, I was like, screw it. Yep. The guy wins. We are both Wiener Whistle we brothers. Are the, yeah. <laughs> the Wiener Whistle brothers. Yeah, anyways, <laughs> uh, thank you guys for the massive support, might I add. Yep. Holy hell, our Boys in the Hood video is like 50,000 views, and we hit 5K subscribers. Woo! And we were celebrating it. 4k like a week ago and i was celebrating 500 like and i was so happy at 500 like man this is my peak and now i'm like at 5k I'm like oh crap like yeah dude, it's getting bigger and bigger it's overwhelming you know, but i'm for real guys thank you for the uh the support we love it a lot and because of all the the support we got on boys in the hood we decided to listen to the most recommended video there which has been us to society the movie we will be watching tonight yeah that's the movie we're gonna do right now just out of respect to you guys for just like, supporting that video so much. And a big shout-out to Carlos for recommending it. The man's a goat. Honest to God. A literal one. Yeah, so that's what we were doing. I'm um, really excited. I really like that kind of movie that has, like, it has that nice humor, but it also has that moment of, like... Realism. Realism, where you can learn a bunch of things, like life Ooh. lessons. Eye-opening. That's and, what I like. And, man, emotional, dude. Oh, God. I'm gonna say it right now, like, R.I.P. Ricky, dog. R Ricky was just, oh... I'm not over it, okay? I'm so mad about Ricky. Too soon, man. Too soon. Shouldn't Too damn up. soon. No, I'm sad. But anyways, guys, we're going to get right into the video because I don't want to ramble on like no. I usually do. Mm -mm. So uh, we're going to start it right now. Now. Yo, man, I don't know what it is. His pants uh, is oh, too like, low or his shirt is too small. Oh, I can't tell. <laughs> Which one is it? <laughs> you ain't got to be creeping. I don't know why you trying to act like you cleaning up. I always think we're going to steal something. Um, go ahead and give me that O.E. Hey, look, bitch, stop following me around this motherfucker. You getting on my nerves. You hurry up and buy. Do people actually do it where they drink it before they purchase? I just think that's hella rude. Yeah, it's disrespectful. And hey, won't you give my homeboy a chance? I don't want any trouble. Just get out. I feel sorry for your mother. Whoa! That was uncalled for. What you say about my mama? fuck you say about my mama? I don't want any trouble, just get out! Wait, what? What? Hey, what the video Give me the motherfucking bitch! Stop! Bring your... Give me the motherfucking... Are you kidding me? What the fuck did you do, man? I get the guy was kind of rude, but like... Dude, I did not think the movie was going to start off like this. Like, I'm actually kind of like, I'm a loss for words. Like, I'm really surprised. Went to the store just to get a beer. Came out an accessory to murder and armed robbery. Funny like that in the hood sometimes. You never knew what was going to happen or when. The thing is, is that he didn't disrespect his mom. He disrespected him. Yeah. No, I just didn't think, like, things were going to escalate that far so quick. No. My father's so dope. And my mother was What's a heroine. Boy? They would always be having parties for friends of theirs who just got out of jail. Oh, no, this is turn not me on to it. where a child should be at all. This is not the environment for a kid to be like raised in. God damn. What's up, Janelle? Clyde? Shut up, little old nigga. This party here for grown folks. Y'all ain't grown. We Ooh. Ooh. We'll get us in Jeez, he's got a nice red doing? onesie. Now go and get a little nigga a drink. Oh, come on. Jeez. Yeah. That is mad gross. What the fuck is that? <laughs> oh, man. Whoa! What are you doing, boy? You... Oh, that scared the hell out of me. Wait a minute. Don't Let me show you how to hold it. Don't give him the gun! Now! Oh, that's not nice. No. Hey! Are you all done yet? <laughs> yeah. Look at him, man. Now that you've been out the joint for about two weeks, don't you think it's about time you gave me my money? I told you, motherfucker, I ain't got your money yet, man. Oh, no. What you gonna do? What? What am I? Oh, no. Oh, my God, dude. Oh, my God. I mean, dude, I think his kid's there, too. Oh, and his kid saw it all. Oh, God. That was the first time I'd ever seen my father hey. kill anybody, but it wasn't the last. 
Man, to be fair, that guy pushed him. Like, bro, like, why are you going to say all that? Why would you edge someone on when they have a gun in their hand? And they're completely, like, not there. They're intoxicated and whatnot. Why would you do that? I don't know. God, Guy had a death wish, man. That's it. God, imagine that. It's being your upbringing. Watching people get shot. Your mom addicted to drugs. Damn, nice wheels, dude. What the hell are you doing? You must want a new big wheel. Yeah, cause this little big wheel doesn't work right. I'm gonna buy you a new one, okay? Okay. Damn, dude, What's the up? 90s where everything was baggy as hell. Mm-hmm. big wheel, mama. Oh, is it? You know you don't have to keep buying them stuff. Oh, it ain't no thing. This is my partner right there. Ain't that right, little man? Yep. So you finally did it, huh? All right. <laughs> oh, man, congratulations. Hey, come on, let's make it in the house. My pops was killed in a drug deal when I was 10, and my mom was too strung out, so I went to live with my grandparents in Jordan Downs. It was only supposed to be temporary, but my mom's died from an overdose. Ah oh, man. So I just stayed. Hey, Grandma. Oh, oh, oh. I'm so proud of you, Kate. <laughs> when you get that diploma, I'll be the proudest grandfather in all mm. of L.A. And I know if your mom and papa were still alive, they'd be proud of you, too. <laughs> oh, papa's gone, too. Damn. Sad. He's got nice grandparents, though, dude. Damn. Yeah, they seem very nice, supportive, good people. Is that the guy who shot the two uh, convenience store people? I think so. Nigga, I know you ain't dumb enough to be showing niggas the robbery tape, man. What's up with that? Man, You're showing them the tape? Shit is funny to me, though. <laughs> hey, man, let me get back to this shit. Funny? God damn. Bro! Now, Old Dog was the craziest nigga alive. Young, black, and didn't give a fuck. He was right about the crazy part, man. He just shot people. Oh, and he's showing off the tapes. That's, in that's insane. I don't think he did. I don't think he did. Didn't he say he did? I don't know if he really did. Like, I, I can't. I can't believe someone's gonna show evidence of them murdering people. Y'all niggas, hurry up, man! I'm hungry, you no know, motherfucker, man. So what y'all gonna do? We and Harold going over to Jacks. Oh, y'all niggas going to Jack and a crack man. The hell you hell? Some gas for the hoop, you know what I'm saying? Shit, your ass should have filled up before we got here, stupid ass. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> she ain't wrong. She ain't wrong. <laughs> Damn. Hell, I don't think he did that, but kind of fucked up, huh? Surprised y'all, that was too phony. <laughs> oh, what? Too phony. Yeah, he real fucked up, eh? Fucked. I'm yeah. tired of him. Get your ass up out the car, nigga. Bitch. What? Get your motherfucking ass up out the car. All right, nigga, chill. Get up. Right, oh, no. Dude, they have shotguns and shit. I got you, all right. Get your motherfucking ass up out the car now. Bitch. Man, he's going to be Swiss cheese. Nigga, fuck you. Oh, my God. Oh, wait, he got, he got hit! Oh, the twitching. Oh, boy. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, God. God damn, dude. Oh, jeez. You're gonna really leave a guy like this in the waiting room? Come on. Yeah, you gotta be kidding me. Holy hell. A week out of high school, and I got blasted in the shoulder. <laughs> he is not interested. Oh, what's up, Al? What's going on, big boy? It's chilling, man. And then you gonna come on out today or what? Yeah, um, I'll be in the front of y'all. Katie, Kevin. He doesn't want him to go out. Yeah, you come over here and sit right here on the couch. And I don't blame him. Yeah, well, I mean, his grandson got shot. I guess I better let y'all talk. Oh, damn, it's a talk. And what I want to talk to you two about is the trouble that you've been getting into. Boys, the Lord didn't put you here to be shooting and killing each other. Grandpa, I ain't never killed nobody. Oh, I doubt that. 
And Kevin, I've heard stories about you. I don't think God really cared too much about us. Well, he wouldn't have put us here. I mean, look where we stay at. It's all fucked. It's messed up around here. Nice save. Hey, do you care whether you live or die? I don't know. Come on, man, let's build. Come on. Damn, that was a sad answer. It really was. Hey, but anyway, man, what's up on the shoulder, boy? Oh, it's fucked up, but I, it ain't no thing. You oh, know but that ain't what you was hollering on the way to the hospital. Oh, oh. <laughs> and you fools swear y'all so damn hard. I heard that shit. What? Stay up, King. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, he got him. Hey, hey, check this out, check this out. Boom! Oh, yeah, oh, 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 nigga, did y'all see oh, 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 Yeah. Oh, you Woo! Give it to me, nigga. You jack that hell yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hey, you like this nigga, you Oh, God, I don't want to laugh. That was that's funny what he said. God damn, man. But damn, that's kind of messed up, dude. I can't believe he's actually showing the evidence of him murdering people. Yeah. Now, that's it's not even that, but also his, his friends as well. They, they just don't care. They're hyping it up. It's like, yeah. dude, God. Hey man, this with the police. Yo, man, yo, man, what you doing, man, nigga? Man, 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 man. It's kind of scary how normalized it is. To just shoot someone, right? Or just to kill somebody? Well, for Kevin, like, um, Kane was like, man, he was traumatized. Yeah. But when they killed my cousin, I knew I was gonna kill them. Hey man, so you like my little tape, don't you? Yeah, that shit was cool, nigga. Yeah, nigga. Yo, Dean, why don't you go ahead and hook us up with one of them motherfucking oh, hot dogs? I think things are gonna go so bad. Why don't you get a job? Hey, look, Dean, why don't you go ahead and just get us one of them dogs? Hey, look, why don't you just go ahead and hook us up? Dean, why don't you wait now? I'm tired of hooking your sorry ass up. Go get a goddamn job. That's Make it do right. Y'all niggas, hurry up. Go in there, book them niggas, and get the fuck out. And don't be playing. Is you ready to do this shit or what, motherfucker? And don't be acting like no pussy when we get the fuck out there. Ah, uh, man. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah, you just know something's not going to go well. Like, it's not going to go as planned. Nah. I, something's going to go wrong. Damn, stop harassing the woman, man. Damn. Man, just leave her alone. Go home to your mammies, okay? Yeah, nigga, break up. Oh, my God! Yo, guy number one exploded. Hey, homie, you need some help? Uh, 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 uh. Damn, hey, man. Damn. Dude, that poor woman. Oh, my God. Ah, oh, it's just rough, man. It is. Hope his grandpa never finds out. That'd just break my heart. So, where's Anthony? Um, he's in the back taking a nap. He should be up in a second, actually. Can I use your bathroom? What was he doing with the money? Is he like hiding the money in her place? Well, play me a boxing? What you think? I'll whoop your ass, Anthony. What did I tell you about your Ooh, mouth? Oh, damn. What? Why are you tripping? Five years old and he has no business talking like that. Well, true. You gotta be hard growing up out here. Nothing to do with being hard, okay? Because he mm -hmm. gets that crap from you, dog, and that fool, Stacy. Is that something to be proud of? Hmm. Ooh. Damn. Look, I'm gonna be in a room whooping your son ass in this game. I mean, <laughs> we gonna box and shit. I <laughs> you know, a little something. Damn, dude, you ain't helping. <laughs> Man, he messed that up so bad. I'm gonna beat your butt. And there we go. We beating butts. <laughs> Hold up. Nah, my boy, y'all little punk. Okay. Let me see that. Oh, please don't. No. Nah, man, don't. Don't, don't you dare. Don't, don't you dare. Oh, she's gonna flip, man. No, she's oh. gonna find the money first. Yep, she gonna find the money. Yep. She gonna see her kid playing her gun. He's gonna get whooped. Oh, oh my, my god. Oh my god, dude. You hold it like oh god. Pow, punk ass. Mm. Look at that moment. What the hell are you doing? Ooh. I don't want my son learning to pull drive-bys. If I ever catch you with a gun in your hand, I will break your tail. You got that? Get out of here. Get up and get out. Yeah, why you tripping? I mean, you act like you never was down. What's up with that? Kane, it's not even about being down. 
all right? I got a little son to look after. Look at you. I gotta go. All right, here. Hey, what's up, nigga? What's poppin'? What up? Ain't Again? Hold on. I'll see you down the road tonight. Oh, it's the on. 90s. All right, bet. They keep watching the tape, like, dude, like... Yo, man, what's up? Man, get your bitch ass up and answer the deal. That's strange, man. It's very strange. I like, look, why you come to this motherfucker so early all the time, man? You said one o'clock? I don't give a fuck what I said, nigga. I don't get out of bed for 2.30. Don't come through this motherfucker so early next time, nigga. Understood. Uh, it's got to be in excellent running condition, too, all right? Insurance company ain't going to give you no money for a car that doesn't run. You ain't too scared to have a black man steal for your fucky ass, is you? You're right. Man, get the fuck out of here. Okay, thanks. Take thanks. Don't bring your narrow ass up in here. Man. Go on back at the West, you motherfucker. Damn. Dude, every time I see a guy like who takes any awareness to them, I'm just like, he's so dead. Yep. At this point, like, oh man. Oh damn. Oh, they're gonna run. How are they gonna get out of this? Quite a lot. Oh, I mean, they don't look like they run, so they might have got a good chance here. Yeah, those cops weren't rushing. No, not only that, they didn't look like uh, that fit to keep up. Well, actually, mm. the first time I ever been caught for anything, the judge reduced my crime from Grand Theft Auto. Grandpa, to dude. The jury His grandma. Line. They let old dog off with a warning because he was still a minor. And hey, you got some money or not? Oh man, come on, man. Who took me up this time? Nigga, you crazy. Burgers, man. They some double cheeseburgers. <laughs> <laughs> hey, boo, I don't want no motherfucking cheeseburger. Man, man, I suck your dick. Come on, man. Just hook me what up. What the fuck? You just say, nigga. Man, I said I suck your dick. Come on, man. Just get me fucked. Oh, God. What the fuck you doing? In broad daylight? Hurry up. They took the cheeseburgers, too. Any of y'all want a hamburger? The cops matched my prints to the ones from that bottle I dropped in a liquor store the night of the robbery. Oh no. He is so screwed. Now listen to me, you little bitch. Ooh, damn. All right, let's go. I'm gonna ask you some real simple questions and I want some real simple answers. You bought the bottle of beer about 11.15? Yeah, at 11.15, yeah, 11.15. Then why wasn't the bottle cleaned up? Why be, did we find it still there? After we was leaving, after, after I left, other people was coming in they, when we was leaving. I, but you bought the oh, bottle. Oh, man, he's beer. choking. Yeah, it was 12, 15. Like, that, if I'm not mistaken, it was now you see something? Oh, he got him. Now you see now, you done fucked up, you know that though. Without the tape, they had nothing. Nigga, I said you should come up to Kansas with us. Nigga, what? You going deaf, motherfucker? Shit, I ain't going no place. I think Ronnie got a lock on his fools, what I think. You still pushing up on Ronnie, man? Man, hell no. Pernella kick my ass. Man, I wish this motherfucker would hurry up. <laughs> hey, man, what the fuck is that, man? Get this shit out of my face. <laughs> Enjoy your shit, man. I had the dope ride. I was sitting on some bullshit. I needed some rims bad. And I sure in the hell wasn't gonna pay for them. I grow up to be a motherfucking mess. Turn that motherfucking shit down. Nigga, nigga, you know what the fuck I want, nigga. I want your motherfucking Dayton's and your motherfucking stereo. Let me have a double burger, uh, some fries. What the fuck I said with cheese, nigga? <laughs> Yeah, I had to creep up on some food today. Drive through. It's just sad to see him like go down this road even more, cause now he's just like he's falling too. He's deep initiating deep. into it, like he's engaging yeah. with it. Wait, what the hell are you doing? Hey, calm down, baby. That's one of my natural reflexes. Hey, they call me King. I'm Eileen. Eileen? Mm -hmm. 
Oh, them ribs! Good. We getting barbecue? God damn! Ooh! Hey, yo, Kane, what's up, nigga? I need that bitch alone. Nigga? So I'm gonna call you, all right? Yeah. You take care of that body. What's up, fool? Hey, what's, what's up, up? Nice? What's up, man? <laughs> hey, man, which one of you fools put this picnic together anyway? I don't hey, know, but a nigga like Stace gotta get his feet on this shit, man. Hell, hey, shit. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. Dude, he's just massacring it. Look at that. Why are you gutting the ribs? Bro, be careful with them. Well, you know I smell that barbecue. Y'all know I ain't passing up on a barbecue. Oh, we had no. I was gonna get his eat on. Yeah, sit down here. I know there's some food left, right? Hey, hey, Keisha, bring Mr. Butler a plate. A nice size plate, Keisha. Anyway, I'm so glad you come. Because I was talking to my brothers here about drugs in the community. <laughs> I feel my, bad for that guy, man. He's trying to find like-minded individuals, and in he ain't got no luck. What the hell is the devil's plan? Hey, Reese, I mean, you, you got a father, man. And you got a grandmother and a grandfather. And I'm pretty sure they tell you everything that my father tell me. But you don't listen anyway, so what's the difference? Damn! Woo! He got him! What's up, Kane? Took you long enough, my brother. Anyway. Hey, KD. <laughs> so what's up, young buck? Have a seat. So what y'all talking about? Not much, just chatting. Yeah, man. we talking about this Kansas trip. So what are you gonna do, KD? You gonna fuck around out there in the streets till you get killed? What's that, sir? Well, Sharif tells me him and Stacy have been trying to get you to leave with him. I don't know about no Kansas. But what are you gonna do if you stay? So what you trying to say, Mr. Butler? All I'm saying is, survive, all right? Words to live by, man. That was very nice, though, that he had him come in to see his father and stuff to talk more about it. We were used to getting sweated by the cops. I mean, they would follow us in the car, then turn away. They'd stop us for no reason and question us, especially with a car like mine. Spread your legs. Hey, man, this motherfucking hood is hot. Oh, you can't burn up all your boys like barbecue. Oh damn, the baton's out. Oh god. Dude, they're handcuffed. What are they gonna do? Whoa! Put your seatbelt on and sit down. I just don't get that. They're handcuffed. What the fuck are they gonna do? <laughs> I know, it's like they're not a threat. Wait, what are they doing with them? Huh? Wait, what's happening? the hell wait what are they leaving them in a neighborhood where it's like wait do they just uh, like beat them up and pretty much just drop them off oh man i got a bad feeling yo this guy looks tough as shit on the right dude jeez he's pretty jacked yeah man he's not messing around that night they dropped us off in the wrong hood where the essay stayed the essays was cool though they took us to the hospital. Well, that's nice. Oh, that's a wonderful twist. Oh my god. <laughs> Jeez. I feel Michael says the police hate black people. Well, no, 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 no. That's not true. That's not true at all. Some no, of us. Is Kate gonna die? No. If he keeps going down this road. Die, don't worry about it. It's kind of sad that kid would even ask a question like that. You look so mean. Why don't you smile for a change? Got shit to smile about. You alive, ain't you? Yeah, and who says that's good? I got a job. For real? <laughs> yep, sure did. My aunt hooked it up for me. The job is in Atlanta. Oh, damn, she moving. Kane! I was hoping that that's a... you ain't doing jack shit that's here. That's a solid offer. I see it, you'll be dead or you'll be in jail. Why are you so worried about me? Oh, Ooh. damn! Dude, he's missing out on a good opportunity. Like, she's really great. No, but that's his friend's girl who's in prison. <laughs> his friend should get. What if he gets out, dude? Oh, Should've shit. got locked up. Your problem, bro. It was the end of the summer. Ronnie had a little going away party. Hey, Ann, what you doing out here? Just kicking it. Yo, let me have a drink. <coughs> you, Kevin, man, don't be giving this little kid no liquor. You ain't his daddy. You're not either, Kevin. Anthony, what are you doing out here? You know better. Come on. Oh, Let's thank God. The parallel is interesting, right? Yeah, from uh, Kane when he was a kid. Yep. 
you know, the difference of having like a parental figure in the life that's really like who's responsible. Exactly. You know who cares. Go on, boy. What up, babe? Okay, bro, you're being a little too handsy there. Oh, nigga, I'm just joking. Talk blocking, motherfucker. Oof. Are you gonna come with us or not? Yeah, I'm gonna go. Thank God. Oh. Oh my God. Whoa. Just gonna probably eat him up, man, cause like, just friend's girl, right? Yeah. I don't know how that's like how it sits with them. <laughs> 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 Who the hell does that? <laughs> Sorry. Yo, that was cringe. Bro, 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 stay away. Yeah, I've been checking you out for a long time. I know. That motherfucking cane. Oh, no, please, okay, dude. Okay, dude, dude. Don't get aggressive. Don't get aggressive. Oh, Don't pull a gun out. What is he doing? Oh, no. Jesus! Hey, stop it! It's not that serious! Man, you could have dealt with that in a more, like, um... Oh, the kid's there, too. Ah. Like, I get why... I get his thought, but, like... Well, that's that, dude. He's also drunk. Yeah, it's true. So he's completely not even there. Fully. That was the wrong way to deal with the situation. At least he didn't shoot the guy in the face or anything like that. <laughs> yeah, like his dad just go bop bop got yeah, him. Yeah, he didn't blast the guy. I hope he still leaves, man. Like, dude, I just hope like, he, I just hope he, he just changes. It's me, Alina. I'm pregnant. Well, what the fuck are you telling me for? Look, you're the only one I was with. Stop lying, all right? You man enough to take a life, you ain't man enough to take care of one. God, that's Look, that's I, a I good quote. Topics, Damn. Right. Peace. Oh, man. There he is. How you doing? I'm fine, and you? Now I see why she went for Kane. Like, she just, uh... Let me talk to Kane. She doesn't even want to deal with him. No. Ronnie, it's been a long time, Kane. How you doing, man? How come you ain't never come to see me? Cage didn't like some fucking animal. When I was growing up, you was like my dad, man. Go with Ronnie, Kane. Oh, man, the name and uh... I know how she feels about you, and that's cool. Wow. She's a good girl, man. You know? Damn. I did not expect I just that. just wanted to be happy and take care of my son. I can't do shit for him in here. You teach him better than I taught you, man. Teaching the way we grew up was bullshit. Wow. I'm, like, blown away by that. I, I did not expect it to go down with how, like, just cool and understanding he is with the whole situation. Yeah, he just that, wants the best for them. That's it. Yeah. The best for the people he cares about. Like, oh, man. Like, that was a... That was actually a beautiful scene, honestly. It that really that was. was great. Oh, my God. To the pain to see Pernell, man. Oh, for real? That nigga get mad at you or what? Uh, he, he all right. Oh, cool, man. That boy out there. The hey, which one of y'all is Kane? Who is this fool, man? Who want to know? Yeah, and I think you better watch who the fuck you. Oh, 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 shit. Dude, it is not the time. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yo, is that guy dead? Like, yeah, he did not look in good shape. I don't want you to remain in our house. And what y'all want me to do? I want you out of here. We tried our best to raise you, but you're bad. I was going to tell y'all to later. I'm going to be moving to Atlanta with Ronnie. I hope you're not going to mess up that girl's life, Kane. But I cannot have you in my home one more night. They're sending a message. It's like, dude, if you can't fix your act, you sh you're not allowed around here. You know, they've given you so many opportunities. They try to teach you the right way. There's only so much they could put up with if you're not listening. It's true. I wonder if he's going to change, though. Like, he says he's moving to Atlanta and stuff. But I it's hard so. because it looks like he, the lifestyle is so stuck with him. You know, it's it's hard to just change, you know? What seems to be your problem? I was just thinking about saying goodbye to my grandparents. Well, if you want to, we can stop by there before. But can you take some of these bags to the car, please? 
Properly. What the fuck is that? <laughs> oh man, that was nigga's cat back, man. Let's go, let's do this. Oh, dude, I'm sorry, but you were wrong. I'll be what honest. What was that? Oh, jeez. Oh, please don't have. Oh no. Hey, dude, I, I'm getting some boys in the hood vibe. I think this is there's gonna be a tragic ending or tra something tragic's gonna happen. I'm, I am terrified now. No, I don't want it. I just want Kane, you know, Dude, like, I'm turning the leaf. Oh, God, no. Okay, I'm getting, like... Dude, I'm... I'm... Mm -mm -mm. Oh, my God. No, please, God, no. Because that was the last place they were at, right? The grandparents. It's the only place they, they, they would remember, but, like... They could roll up on him here. Oh, please, no, 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 not, not the, the kid. kid. I not swear, the if the kid gets shot, I'm gonna f lose it. Do not, Anthony. Oh, my God, no. I want some money for this king, for real. No, jeez, no, f Dude, oh. Not, don't shoot the kid, dude. Yo, what's up now, partner? No, no, God, no. Oh, come no. on, man. God, three, man. Come on, dude. <laughs> Please tell me Anthony is okay. Get off! Oh, the kid's okay. Go get some fucking help, nigga. God, Kane. Oh my God. No, I, I don't think. My grandpa asked me one time if I care whether I live or die. Yeah, I do. Now it's too late. God, man, why they gotta do this again? God damn it, dude. Ah. So we just watched Menace to Society, man. Again, this goddamn ending, man. Uh, yo, that ended in the best way possible. Honestly, it really did. When he qu when he finally answered that question and said it was too late. That, that was so good. Not only that, that he did care about living or dying. He, like, he wanted to live, like he well, cared. because he, he realized he had things. In his life, you know, that he cared about. Yeah, I think that's the thing. Like, he didn't realize all these great things he had in his life till the end. Yep. You know, he had two really like his parents were absolute like garbage people. Holy. Yeah, shit. but his grandparents seemed very nice. You know, very I, decent. I can understand people might be like, oh, you know, the religion stuff annoying. Sure, but if you, if you like peel off the religion, the the, the lessons and the, like the, the things Dude, they're trying the, to teach him and tell him were, were pretty great. Not just that, man. But here's the thing, man. I don't religion. Whether you believe it or not, cool. I don't really care. If you believe it, it, it no, awesome. It, it's like Cherie there. Like, Cherie, he, he, even though, like... It made him a better person. That's what I love with it. That's like, what when, matters. No, Mr. Butler said, like, you know, he's like, I don't care if it's Jesus or Allah. It's like, it's helping him become a better man, and that's all matters. Exactly. Like, for I totally agree on that. Like, I'm and not a I religious I don't care guy. what it is in your life that makes you decide to become a better person, but whatever it is, who cares? As long as you have something that pushes you down that road, that's what matters. It doesn't matter how you get on the road, as long as you're on it. I totally right? agree. But it, like, I really, I thought that was great. That was a really, really great one. And like, oh, dude, I'm still upset he died, man. Of all the characters in this damn movie, he didn't deserve to die. Kane? Uh, no. Cherie? Yes. Yo, man, that, I'm not even kidding, dude. The fact that Kevin lives, that actually kind of pissed me off, dude. Kevin. Kevin really annoyed me the whole damn time. I know. Like, his attitude in that, and it's just no, like... No, but the thing is, then again, you, you can't... Can't blame it, him for the fact that... he was brought up. I know, right? You can't blame him. He he was brought up not giving a crap about anything. Like, he had the freedom to do whatever it he wasn't, wanted. Uh, you know what the th weird thing is? They played it off that Kevin didn't care. I think Kevin cared the most. He wanted to look the toughest. Yep. He wanted to look like he was the baddest guy in, in, of all what else do you think it was showing off that video time it's, and time dude, again it was the fact that he's so goddamn insecure he literally thought very little of himself and he tried so hard to show him off as this like really like tough person but i i don't know man it, i'm just glad the kid lived anthony right? oh my that, god that freaked me out all right yeah you know kane rip like 
a whole lot of deaths I, I just didn't want to see at all. Guy, I, I I'm so I'm not even lying. Like, man, I haven't gotten over Ricky yet, and now I nope, gotta. And get I over gotta the... add two more to the list. Yeah, uh, Kane and Cherie, man. Like, yeah, I... Right there. God damn, man, these movies are sad. God, I, especially this one, man. It gave you so much hope. You know, like he was right there on the line. You know, on the fence, dude, of changing his life, getting better. You know, making something out of he, himself. He finally had good influences. Yeah, but... Uh, turning him onto the right, like... Uh, oh God. But he, he messed with the wrong people. Consistently messed with the wrong people. Man, it's not even that he messed with the wrong people. He dealt with the situation horribly. In the in the most dumbest way. But it's sad because, it, it's again, it's the way he was brought up. Right? Yeah. yeah. You know? The way he saw his father and stuff like that. God, it's just sad, but you see a lot of these people and how they act and everything, you know. It goes for everybody, man. It's not just about people in the hood and stuff. People in general, uh, your parents influence you a lot, man. They, surprisingly, it's either you learn, it, it, it's it's either you learn what to do from them or you learn what not it's to like do from them. It's like even the concept or idea of racism even. A lot of this stuff is taught through parents. You know, it, it, it's it's just sad, man. You know, these lifestyles, they're just like, they're so self-destructive, it's just sad. It starts. I I, I do agree. A, a lot of it does. So, like, there is a huge portion that comes from parenting. Right? It's not just in, pa in parenting, but like also, it's the upbringing. It's what? that upbringing as well, but it's your environment as well. Like sometimes you can't choose your environment, man, and that's the sad th reality. You know, you're born into this into you're this born, environment. Yeah, and, you, and you're you know you're just doing what you need to do to survive. Well, not even that. But it's what you see in that environment twenty four seven. You're surrounded by this kind of lifestyle. You know, how can you learn what's good or bad mm -hmm. when this is all you see? You don't know the difference at this point. Especially when you're a kid, you're so easily influenced by things, you know? Yeah, like look how curious the kids were to see the gun, to get the alcohol oh, and stuff. Yeah. Because it's constantly shoved in their face in that light. Yeah, so they're wow. like, oh, what is this? I want to know what this is. You yeah, know? why are they always, like, why are they always using this? Why do they always have this? It's just heartbreaking, man, you know? Oh, <sighs> my God. It's just sad as hell, man. I mean, these movies, man. It's always, man, when they're on the cusp of changing their life around. I mean, at least the boys in the hood, he actually got out. Trey? Yeah. Yeah, man. He got out. Thank God for Trey. At least Trey got out, you man. You know, he got out. You know, he got out of the tough situation. But, man, for some reason, I had a feeling Kane wasn't going to make it. Nah, man. And he Dude. kept making the same mistake. He kept acting very aggressive when he shouldn't have. He had to be the bigger man in many of those situations. He played it cool. Everything would have been fine. It's just a shame, man. But he, but again, he kept falling back into the same lifestyle, the same habits. You know, he couldn't truly change. No matter how hard he tried, he couldn't do it. Nah, man. And it was too late. It was ingrained in him so much. Like, you know, like, again, like we said, like, the guy, uh, the guys, um, uh, who came to, uh, who was it? The, the girl he... Got pregnant, apparently, when her brother came up and, like, started acting all... Well, he had no business to just whoop his ass right outside of the house like that, dude. Bro, that was... The, the worst part is, that was his grandparents' house. I know. I'm surprised, though. I thought they were gonna go to the grandparents' house. Because that's where they last found him. Nah, you know, you ask people around, you kind of... You could find yeah, out people are. That's true, that's true. But without a doubt, Kevin's probably in prison, too. Oh, yeah, because he sent the videotape. Yeah. I don't know, man. We're rambling. It's like six minutes of rambling, guys. I'm just going to end it here and just say, you know... Damn good movie. It was a damn good movie. And again, there's so many lessons learned, man. You oh, know? yeah. There's a, lo there's a lot to like to learn from these movies. That's why like, I like geez. to do a full review at some point in the future on some of these movies. Because I feel like there's so much more we could talk about. And, yeah, it's like and... we ramble... Imagine, we ramble on for six minutes. Like, if we actually did a review, we watched a movie a few times. Like, trust me, there will be a lot to say. Even more. Oh, yeah. Because I feel like there's even some things that we've probably missed... On your first viewing, you're more like... It's it, not as easy to just catch everything that's shoved in your face. No, because right? you're more in amazement. You're like in awe. Okay, I'm watching this. This is happening. All right. But I would... Again, I would like to watch a lot of these movies again. Like, there's some of them that 100% I want to. Boys in the Hood. This movie, Menace yeah. Society. I would definitely watch it again. Like, I really want to... I don't know. I feel I, like there's I, more I can get out of it. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. But anyways, anyways guys. Seen enough. Yes, we're That's beginning. it. This is seven minutes of rambling. We're going to cut off now. We're done. We're done. It's over. That's it. Awesome movie. Thank you to everybody who watched our last video on Boys in the Hood. Oh, yeah. Our reaction to that. And it recommended us this great movie also very about life in the movie. hood. It, it's very, uh, it's eye-opening, you know? Yeah. And uh, to a lot of things. Not just, like, the violence and such. Drug abuse. Drug abuse, man. 
Ah, oh, God. It's that, that's, that's a whole different topic, okay? I'm done, all right? I got to shut up. <laughs> Anyways, guys, that's it from us. We love you all. Thank you for your support and everything. It means the world to me. Like, yeah, man. I, you I, have I, no I'm, idea how much it means to us. I'm in disbelief. Like, every day and I look at my... I'm 5K and I'm just like, there's no way Go to hell. 10K, baby! Woo. Peace, guys. We out. We out here. Hey.